Okay, here we go. It is 2.30 oh, in the morning. Still working on kettle core machines. I've, uh, when I get going on something, I can't stop until I'm done. This particular machine was a custom model somebody wanted. You'll notice the vents on the side. Now these are open. See, I've got my hand in there. Heat comes through there. When I build a machine, I don't just like building something that functions well. I have to do that as well, but I want it to look good. That's kind of the key that I do deal with when I um, when I'm in my process of designing things. Also, kind of meticulous about making things work right. And one of the things that I've spent so much time on, pardon my messy shop here, but you'll notice all the little wiring things. Uh, is this new um, electronic starter switch? This is something that we've had that has been work that we've wanted to get with. Uh, boy, I can't even talk right. Um, try to perfect a little bit better. And the last few we've sold, they've worked fine. But you know, people drop things and wires get pulled out and just things happen. I was just determined to spend whatever time it took to make this thing as bomb proof as possible. So that's what I've done here. You'll notice that these pieces here, this is actually two pieces of channel pressed together. You can take it apart um, without a screwdriver, with a screwdriver. In other words, you're just going to pull on this to take it off. But the cool thing is, this is a very strong, powerful igniter switch for the uh, burner. I'm going to do a little close-up in here. Part of the problem we have is, is those wires in there, they want to short out on the inside. So what I did to solve that problem is I got a little piece of conduit. I don't know if you can see that or not. A little tiny piece of conduit. It's heat resistant. I also put this on the outside before I was actually putting them on the inside of the machine. So now we've got three or four layers of heat resistance <coughs> on there. And I also gave it, I wanted to keep this underneath so that there's a little bit of an air gap here, a big one actually, it's three inches. Before I was putting it right up against the edge here, right up on top. And um, the, some of the wires are burning, so I tried all kinds of things. Anyway, after 14 hours of trial and fail, failure, uh, can't talk, um, I think I got it. No shorting wires. I, uh, you can see right here, this is all metal. There's no way heat can get inside here. This is all bolted together. It's a stainless steel piece with a stainless steel bolt screwed in together. There's no way that the wire inside here can burn. Uh, this is going to be... I'm per quite proud of this. I think this is going to be the answer. This little piece right here, actually, I just stuck that for my con convenience. It's actually going to be mounted here. But uh, here's the cool thing here. This is what it was all about. Let me see if I can reach, hold the camera, and reach at the same time. Let me see what I'm doing. Here we go. That's it. That's what I was looking for. No shorting, perfect spark every time. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. All right, now I'm going to go to bed. Uh.